الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear sweet Islam brothers, let's recite the Rudan Salam upon the beloved and blessed Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Excellence of conveying درود السلام When a Muslim recites three, one, three times درود الباك He will be with those who recite درود الباك abundantly Try to make it a habit of reciting at least Sallallahu ala Muhammad Complete 313 And make a dua May Allah Azzawajal accept your Duas for the sake of Rasulullah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam In Call to Righteousness Page 35 it is mentioned To assume without any Accurate indication That a person weeping in dua Etc So you might find someone Who is making dua And he's crying in his duas Is an Ostinatious One I.e. show off is no doubt a sin leading to hell. But the weeping person should seriously ponder why he is weeping. If he suspects even a doubt about ostination, he should avoid weeping. Certainly, an ostinatious person is a silly fool as he endangers the divine bestowed great rewards just for the temporary pleasure of being admired praised and considered pious by people. Even worse, the dis disgusting, ostinatious person does not often come to know whether the person he wanted to impress by his apparent piety was actually impressed with him or not. Even if that person gets impressed by him and praises him behind his back, one rarely hears words in his praise. Even though someone praises him in his presence, this will cause further destructiveness to him. Believe me, if people become aware that so-and-so person is weeping or expressing his act of worship for ostination, they will hate him. This ostinatious person should now ponder how much Allah Azzawajal, who is aware of everything, would be displeased with him. In Vasale Bakshas page 91 it is mentioned, I appear to be virtuous person today, but I will be uttering disgrace if my faults are exposed on the day of judgment. Here are some ayahs and narrations conveying the call to righteousness with the intention of in enhancing enthusiasm for avoiding ostination and making others avoid it. Certainly the deeds performed by the unwise, ostinatious person preferring worldly life to afterlife will not benefit them at all. Quoted below in the context in the 15th ayah of Surah Hud with its translation from page 418 and 419 of the sacred Kunzal Iman with Khuzainul Irfan published by Maktabatul Madina the publishing department of Dawud Islami, Allah Azza wa Jal has said in part 12 of the, the Holy Quran, whoever desires the life of the world and its luxuries, we will give them the full compensation for their deeds in it and will not make any reduction in it. Commentating on the above ayah, Sayyidina Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala has stated the ostentatious are given the reward of the virtuous deed within their worldly life and are not oppressed at all. Here there's another dua. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, protect me from ostination and make me a sincere bondsman. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us the ability to perform our nafal, our sunnah ibadat with full uh, beseech mode. Sometimes what happens is we're performing it in full turbo mode. But when someone is at the door behind us, 
We don't know what it is. It could be an animal or it could be something that's triggered off some noise. But then we start reading our namaz with full concentration. There's someone watching us. But we should have that taqwa and piety that Allah is watching us. And sometimes we lack in our ruku and sujood. We don't uh, complete our qoma, uh, our jalsa. Meaning when we go in ruku and when we come back from ruku, we should stand up straight. But I think we're in a hurry for some reason. We want to run off. We want to go somewhere. And we're not completing our ruku properly. And if we don't do this correctly, our salah will not be valid. And same when we go into sajood in sajda, and then we come back in the, the jalsa position, meaning in the sitting position, sometimes we're hunched forward, even we've not completed that jalsa properly. And then we go to the next sajda. So we have to be careful of how we perform our salah, and we have to ponder that Allah is watching us. And sometimes we don't have this feeling in our heart, and we have to develop this, and shaitan doesn't want us to develop this. We'll probably get different waswasa, our minds are all over the place. Whenever we come into the mas, we're not, in, not even in the salah, we're somewhere else. So may Allah give us the ability to develop this hushu and huzu and to try to understand the glorious Quran also by reading his translation. And obviously, same again with tajweed, may Allah give us the ability to practice our recitation of the glorious Quran as well. Ameen. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen Jazallahu anna Muhammadan ma huwa ahluh Bismillahi ala deeni Bismillahi ala nafsi Wa wuldi wa ahli wa mali Ya Allah Azza wa Jal accept our salat al-zuhur Ya Allah Azza wa Jal accept this short dars regarding showing off Ya Allah Azza wa Jal give his ability to keep our deeds secret Ya Allah just to do it for your pleasure Ya Allah Azza wa Jal Ya Allah Azzawajal, those who are keeping nafl, nafl fasts, give them the ability to just to keep it for your pleasure and not to tell others about the nafli ibadat. Ya Allah Azzawajal, bless this gathering, bless our buzurgs. Ya Allah, accept this sincere dua, excel them in deen and dunya, enlighten their hearts with the love of Rasul, the love of ahl bayt the love of the prophets and the awliya and Sayyidi Abdul Qadir Jilani, Allah Hadrat Rahmanullah Ta'ala, and Peer Muyyideen Chishti Ajmeri and Akshbandi, Ya Allah Azawajal, all these salasal, Ya Allah Azawajal, grant us the fezan. Grant us blessings, Ya Allah, in our homes. Ya Allah, bless our children with true Iman, protection of Iman, and protect them from the enemies of Islam. Ya Allah, protect uh, them at school, colleges, and universities. Ya Allah Azawajal, bless them with true knowledge, true manners, and true example of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Those who have requested for dua, anyone that is ill, grant them shifa for the sake of Karbala. Those who have departed, for example, our parents, grant them a high place in Jannah. Bless our Peer Murshid, grant them good health, grant them a long and pious life, and keep this saya above our heads. Ya Allah, open our hearts and keep us in the spiritual circle of Dawud Islami. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين